you're still watching Waze. National Moon Day, also known as Space Exploration Day, is observed on July 20 every year to commemorate the anniversary of the United States' first crewed mission to the moon and the landing of astronaut Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin on moon on July 20th, 1969. Fun fact, see, when I was a child, I always imagined myself in a space suit traveling to space. It's something that I've always wanted to do. But it's since I heard about that Titanic. This is Titanic. I'm not sure I want no, to do I, it anymore. You know, that case is still very mm. funny for me. But we'll do that. We'll do that just some other day. Some other day but it's just funny. But yeah, some other day. But yeah, so I want to travel to a different planet. I want to. I, I want it to be a good what experience. It would be like yeah, without you know gravity and all. Let me see how we'll be floating and be moving around. But yeah, it's you National Monday, it. right? You just need to have the but right. here is four hundred and fifty thousand yeah, dollars. So you can start saving. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> now that. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> okay. Proud much? <laughs> but as in, you haven't even started. <laughs> okay. Not going to say anything. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. <laughs> let's just let's just move on from it. Okay, Jenny, what did you find in the news? Hmm. Anthrax outbreak. Oh, Stop eating for more. It could state government cautions and residents. Um, so basically, they've noticed that there is a there's an outbreak, and they've been cautioning everyone in the agricultural sector, mm. people who have been around dead meats, butchers, um, farmers, people who kill meat or people who have gone to countries where they were exposed to anthrax so what the government is saying is that there has been an exposure and it looks like we're having an outbreak here mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. nigeria so everyone just has to be very careful uh, maybe stay away from pomo stay away from bush meat from smoked meat i mean it seems like a joke right because uh, i mean mama is like mama is really sweet <laughs> i really like it. it's really nice and i love pomo right <laughs> But at the same time, right, um, health is wealth and it's important. I think you, you, we can't feign ignorance mm -hmm. once you've heard an information like this. Yeah. You've been told and you've been warned. So it's just best to stay away from it until you get further um, information that the outbreak is no more or it has been taken care of. So just to be on the safe side, just stay away from dead meat. Stay away from formal. If you walk in abateur and all of that, just try and make sure that you're safe. Try and make sure when you get home, your hygiene is top priority. You're taking care of yourself, your skin, and your health. Mm, very mm. important. Although, this one that today they tell us don't eat pomos, tomorrow they don't eat rice, next month don't drink water. I feel like at some point we'll be eating gra just grass alone. I know, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. eat anything. Because almost have... everything, you know, every day they tell you, uh, pepper does this, this does that. Uh, <laughs> you know, they tell you this is dangerous to your health, yeah. and these are things that we've been eating for a long yeah, time yeah. so giving up some things like omo now is like a major part of a soup bowl yeah so telling nigerians not to eat that it is it, going to take a lot Apart of from that you know that it's a cheaper option yeah. of protein than protein. meat it's and not, not and all that meat yeah. yeah so god help us in this country noma what did you find for us in the news today Staying away from <laughs> 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 Right, so I have this unfortunate news uh, from Punch newspaper about Toby Amuso, and it's about the fact that five days before her women's 100 meters huddles, title and world record clock uh her world record no are you there okay i think we lost a noma um okay nj what do you find for us and hopefully she comes back to take that story Okay, um, my story is a very, a very interesting one. Mm. So while you know glancing through the news, this caught me my attention, and it's funny because um, it's something that is quite abnormal to most people, but is strangely very comes naturally to this young lady. So uh, there's a woman who is addicted to eating toilet paper, mm. and she reveals that she eats up to about four rolls a day and spends nearly 2,700 
uh, dollars a year buying it. I don't know. I know that there's a video. I don't know if they're going to show the video, but you will clearly, if you watch the video, you clearly see this woman, you know, she goes around just eating toilet paper. And, you know, there's this recording of her saying how, how it tastes so much like, you know, <laughs> how it tastes so much like, you know, like, like a meal. Like she eats it as a meal. She doesn't eat food. She oh. just, she just sits around. She just sits around with a long roll of toilet paper and she's just nibbling on it like a if is, um, you know, like eating <laughs> like dry wafers <laughs> without taste. Mm. So she's just eating it and then she, there are videos of her going to the salon. She eats it everywhere in the office and everyone around her thinks she's Luna, obviously. She's but she claims that, you know, this gives her so much joy and that it puts her in a very good place. And she eats, the record says that she eats... Um, about four toilet papers a day. So when you calculate that, she does about 14,000 pounds over the course of 20 years. And she's been eating that for a couple of years. And she has been surviving. Yes. She just eats it. She said it's, it's, <laughs> it just comes naturally to her. Okay. Like literally, you're having a conversation with her and she's just eating toilet paper. And she even goes through the motion of telling you how the difference between the different types of toilet paper that her best is the one with the single <laughs> sheets. So she's like, oh, it's so crunchy. And, you know, you know, it gives her body this, you know, feeling and it tastes good. So over time, she has done that. And I guess she has gotten used to it. But what I would have loved to know, because everyone, even her ex-fiance, thinks is mental. He mm -hmm. says, how do you go around eating toilet paper? You know, if someone wants to get married to you, how does he introduce you to like, his parents? You come to their house. And even, to, and, 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 no, you don't understand. and even the toilet paper won't survive the day. You just say, one second, can I use your bathroom? And then, <laughs> and then <laughs> someone comes, uh, sees you coming out of the bathroom and you're just chewing on toilet paper like, oh my. So it's quite weird. Her workers see it as really weird, but she doesn't care. She has gotten mm. to the point where she doesn't care. She, she literally goes around. She doesn't care if people laugh at her. And I think for me, what bothers me is the health implication of this. I don't know what it is. Yeah, that's but what I'm sure there's a health implication. Because I know toilet paper is soft and everything and mushy mm -hmm. when it dissolves. But I'm just wondering when there's a pile of that in your system and it's not giving nutrients or mm. the normal yeah. natural yeah. nutrients that you, you know the, you need to survive. Mm -hmm. I, I can only but wonder how someone can add weight with that. So you're just adding weight and you're just stuffed up with toilet paper. Did they say how long she's been doing this for? Well, they said um, if they if they gave the record that she eats she has eaten about fourteen thousand pounds over the course in the past twenty years, so I want I I choose to believe that she has been at maybe not twenty years but she has been at this for a while. For a while, yeah. And it's quite strange, but strange things happen every day. We she see these things. Yeah, so yeah, there's more. Yeah, there's more. To this, definitely. Uh, guys, this is not spiritual. <laughs> it's not even spiritual. Even, <laughs> see, the moment I saw the the story. If it was in Nigeria, mm. I would say, hmm, they've done juju Funny. for this person. But this guy is living abroad, so it's weird <sighs> to have that kind of... A I know. <laughs> is it Nigeria, normal back? There's juju everywhere. There's juju everywhere. <laughs> there's there's juju. juju everywhere. <laughs> no, so let's take your story quickly. All right. So my story is on uh, Toby Amusan, who has been banned for... For some who has you know has been given a ban and this is coming five days before her women's hundred meters hurdles world title and world record as it clocks one year and then exactly one month to 2023 world athletics championships that will hold between august 19 to 27 in budapest hungary and um um she has been handed this banned by the Athletics Integrity Unit. And this is because she has missed three out of competition tests in 12 months. And um, I'd, I'm not sure, this was confirmed yesterday, actually. And um, they charged her provisionally and has, have and have suspended her. And I'm one... Oh no, seems like we lost the normal again. I mean, but then this is very sad because I was actually looking forward to Tomison's, um, that was called Tomison. <laughs> Toby, yeah, Toby Amosa's um, breaking another record at the, the women's race that she was going to go for. But then I wonder why I would have, I, would, I wanted to hear what Norma had to say. 
the major reason for the ban is also oh, the ban. Idea? So, um, can you hear me? yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we can, can hear, hear you now. Oh, I'm sorry. So, I don't I, just uh, to piggyback from what Chinelo was saying, um, I'm, the, I was just gonna say that I was wondering why she missed three tests and she claims that she is clean, right? Because these mm, tests yes. are supposed to determine whether you were doing your championships with integrity and all of that. Yeah. And having celebrated her, having um, captured the essence of what she represents, both in Nigeria and across the athletics uh, world, I'm wondering what could the reasons have been for her to miss not one, not two, not three, well, but three tests. So this is already questionable. And you know that countries like this, they do not take this for granted. I don't know if it's as a result of our Nigerian way of doing things <laughs> or that she had genuine reasons to miss three tests. But it's something that we probably would probe further because we weren't given the details. Mm. But she claims that she is clean. And um, they claim that she has missed three. So if you're clean, why did why you, did miss, you miss, three miss three tests? tests? Yeah. These are the yeah. questions mm. that need answers. And um, we'll continue to follow the story, hopefully, because this is so painful, especially having after we had uh, celebrated the fact that what of our own is breaking world record, uh, making history in terms of athletics and all. So it, it, that there are questions to be answered. Mm. Definitely. It's quite unfortunate. Definitely. Very unfortunate. When, when it's almost like when we're just bringing out our mm -hmm. head out of water, mm -hmm. something just happens. Because for me, initially, I would have said, ah, these people just don't want this girl to break another record. They yeah. just want to kill her career. But well, there's really, reason. there's yeah. a valid reason. Yeah. If you're not doping, why miss the test? The test is to prove... It's like a pass mark. It's mm -hmm. like missing an exam and expecting a result. It's education. Yeah, it's education. <laughs> Thank you. So. <laughs> okay, so my story, I saw this and I just could not stop laughing because I had I had so many questions. I don't even read the comments on that. Somebody said this one is worry Titanic. <clears throat> so the moment a ship almost destroyed the Udu Bridge in Delta, if we have the picture, can we just have that up on the screen? Because it just explains what I'm talking about. First things first, how did this ship even get here? How did this ship sail to the... How did this ship think it was going to pass the bridge? That's the first question. What were they thinking? <laughs> so they got to the foot of the bridge before oh, they realized. I don't even understand. I, I honestly don't understand. I think crazy things are happening in this country for real, for real. Because apparently it almost collapsed the bridge. Or did they think it was... Uh, what's that bridge in the UK that... No. That was London <laughs> suspension bridge. Mm -hmm. They thought it was going to open Maybe. for them to pass and then close it. But how did they get there? Did, did, did they lose I, control? Wait, did, they, no. or did they Maybe build... they lost their way. <laughs> That's the only explanation. They should retry. <laughs> because it's a, a, a ship this size and... There, there must have been calculations. You know, there are calculations. As, yes. you, as you approach a bridge, mm -hmm. you can almost tell, you know, okay, no, we're not going to make it. No, we're not going to make it. Especially, you already know, we don't even have that high bridges in, in the whole entire country. But you know, in Nigeria, I almost always make jokes out of everything. Somebody said you should check the sailor. There can be Noah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're going to go on a short break. And when we come back, we'll be discussing... Balancing work and life. See you after the break.